Hey, sweetheart. How's your day been? My day was pretty good. Work was a little hectic, but on my lunch break, I managed to get a really good deal on centerpieces. Some assembly required. And I found it the perfect florist. Oh, and don't forget, we're meeting with the caterer tomorrow, 9 a.m. I know it's early, but it was the only time they had. And honestly, I can't be too mad about cake tasting for breakfast. We need to talk. That sounds ominous. What's up? <sighs> what do you mean? You want to call off the wedding? No, that's not... That's... N that's normal. That's normal, baby. It's just cold feet. Everybody gets cold feet. What? What do you mean? You can... You can find yourself right here, or we can travel, or... You don't need to walk away from me to do all that. You never got to explore. <laughs> you mean you never got to explore other guys? You were my first, too. You know that. You were my first everything. But we were perfect. We fit. We were right for each other. When you find what you're looking for, you're supposed to stop looking. You don't just... <laughs> you don't just keep window shopping and get greedy and throw away ten years over nothing. You promised we were going to stay together for the rest of our lives. You said forever. You called me your soulmate. Yes, I know we were 16. That's still old enough to know what you're saying. And you weren't 16 when I proposed to you and gave you that ring. That was a mistake. Agreeing to marry me was a mistake. just a mistake. I can't believe this. Oh, you feel trapped. <laughs> I thought we were building a future together. And here you were, you were just sticking around out of obligation. <sighs> I didn't realize I was your prison warden. If I'd known, I wouldn't have given you so much freedom. God, I'm such an idiot. I should have known. <laughs> of course you'd trade me in for a newer model. <sighs> you think you're so amazing. Ever since you started your new job, you have money and an office and a title. And you let it go to your head. You got rid of all your old clothes. You got the car you've always wanted. You even upgraded to the latest iPhone, even though your old phone was just fine. It wasn't broken. It wasn't broken. You just didn't want it anymore. I don't have anything without you. No, I'm not being dramatic. I can't afford this apartment on my own. You know that. I'd have to find a new home. No, you're not just going to throw me out on the streets? What, I can't just stick around and try to look grateful while you pretend I don't exist? I'll be all alone. My friends? You mean your friends? 
Yeah, they're nice enough when I tag along. But we both know. They'll choose you if we break up. <laughs> yes, they will. Oh my god, you even own the dog. So wh what do I do now? I just go away? And you get to stay here, in the life we built, and f*** some other new guy. In our bed. Is that your plan? Is that what you want? You're sorry. You're throwing away ten years. But you're sorry. You're always so sorry. Fine. Okay. I'm sorry too. Relax. I said, relax. Stop fighting me. Stop trying to leave. I don't want to hurt you more than I already have. But I swear to God, if you keep struggling, I will keep hitting you. I'm not going to let you be the one who got away. I'm not going to let you get away. I love you too much. <laughs>